<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to KnifeMakerTraining.com. I'm Ed Caffrey, ABS Master Smith. And today, Tim came up with a cool new product. We've got our traditional sanding stick that Tim built from my design, 3D printed. Uh, not long ago, Tim decided he was going to do an XL size, which is actually three quarter, let's see, what's it say? One inch by three quarter. So you've got one inch surface, one inch surface, and a three quarter surface. This one, if I remember correctly, was three quarter. Three quarter and a half. Three quarter, and then the top was a half. Why make a bigger one? You know, it's funny. I've played with these since uh, Tim invented them and printed them and made them. What I have found... And, and I love this. See, I, I, I don't care. It's going to sound yeah. totally weird. But however, and your mileage may vary... <laughs> But what I've found is I like the small stick for larger surface areas or larger blades. And this is a blade that's been laying around for about a year. It was hand sanded, and of course it's got some spots and stuff on it, so I thought I'd work on it for you. But anyway, I find that I like the big or the small sanding stick for larger blades. And I like the bigger sanding stick surface for smaller blades. I just laughed when he said that. That didn't make any sense at all. It, you know, it actually, when I say it, it doesn't make any sense. And it may just be a mind trick with me or a mind game. But it seems like, as I explained it, it makes the sanding go faster. Hmm. If I reverse it and try to use the big stick on big blades, it just seems like it's going slower. And we've had people say that they enjoy, are enjoying using them on big blades as well. So, it, like you're saying, the, the mileage may vary in this pretty much. Exactly. And so what I'm going to do now is, uh, and I have demonstrated in another video, but I'll demonstrate now how to use these sanding sticks. First and foremost, uh, quality sandpaper. Do not, please, folks, don't go to Home Depot or Lowe's or any of the other places and buy your sandpaper. Go to a knife making outfit, you know, that sells knife making supplies, or get online. What I use is called Rhino Wet Red Line. Uh, Norton makes some great paper. You know, whatever your choice is. You know, for those of us that do this full time, we have to kind of balance economy versus quality. And, <coughs> excuse me, personally for me, uh, that's in the form of the Rhino Wet Red Line paper. And as you can see, <clears throat> These are P-series grits, and this is a 600. What I've got here is I take the sheets and I just cut them into roughly inch and a quarter strips. And I do this with an old paper cutter like you would see in the old high schools and stuff. And the reason I do that is I can align the edge on the sanding stick. And this was the key, this was the key goal for the sanding stick right here. This is the reason why we designed it with this shape in mind. And it actually holds that paper very securely. You know, it doesn't slide around. But what I do is, keeping your fingers, of course, out of the way, start in. And you can do this however you feel comfortable. I'm comfortable with this kind of short strokes. And if <clears throat> you notice, you've got the area in a plunge cut. My plunge cuts aren't square, they're right radius. <coughs> Excuse me, my lungs are getting the best of me. But the sharp edge of the sanding stick, you can get into that radius, and just with a slight turn of your wrist, just work it up into that radius. Or if you have a square shoulder or plunge cut, you can also do the same thing. But it's just, for me, it's short, overlapping strokes. I personally like to s sand lengthwise of the blade. Some folks like to go at 45s with different grits. Uh, that's just not my thing. When a piece of paper gets dull or loaded up, that's why I like the sanding sticks. I find a clean piece. In this case, that will be my clean piece, so I'll leave this on, tear it off. Brand new piece of sanding paper. And an important thing to note really quick is we have been getting a few people saying that the edges are wearing on the sanding sticks, which is totally expected at some point. These are, um, how did, how did you call it? Ed? These are consumable items. Yeah. You know, these are the same things as sanding. These sticks are the same thing as sanding belts, sheets of sanding paper, 
you know, they're what I would call semi-durable. You know, they're not going to be like a pair of pliers. You're not going to have them around for 50 years. Yeah. You know, eventually, because they are a 3D... A 3D printed plastic part, yeah, it's it 3D. will have its wear over time. Yeah, and over time, you're <clears> going to get <throat> edges that are wear down. You're yeah. going to get filaments that will move. <clears throat> If it's not hindering, you just grab them and pull them off. Yeah. And nine times out of ten, what we've been finding is the people who have been having this issue the most have been using the stick on its edge. Yeah. Now, going into... Up like, up like this. Yeah. And... Going into the plunge cuts, yeah, that's fine. But you're not going to be trying to use all that pressure as you're going into the plunge cut. Yeah. You will tear these sticks up if you try to sand in this manner. Yeah. With this... Like this. These are intended to be sanded on the flats. Mm -hmm. These sharp edges, I designed those to get into places that other products wouldn't. Like this, I can just let it ride up a little bit over the shoulder. Yeah. But I don't go to where I knock the square corner off, just up enough to on the shoulder. Yeah. The other trick with these sticks is when you come to your Ricasso, treat your Ricasso like a totally separate part of your knife. Sand flat on the Ricasso. Don't fall off of it. So see, you sand that, that's just another part of the knife, and it comes out clean. Then you can go back, sand on your blade. But again, as things get dull, tear it off, go to a new piece. You'll get a lot more mileage out of your sandpaper in this manner than you will trying to, say, wrap it around the file or yeah, something like that. Yeah, a ton less waste. Yeah, you get a lot more uh, conservation of your tooling or your abrasive papers. Uh-oh, the boys are here also. <laughs> Can't have a video on KMT without the without the dogs. <laughs> For most of you that have seen these in the past, Blade here is now three years old. Blade down. Good boy. And then, of course, Boomer, the old guy walking away, is not interested anymore. He's just <laughs> about to turn 14. But Blade has to be the center of attention. Always. And that's okay. He's a good kid. So anyway... Um, and the original and, and the XL sanding sticks. Yep. We're selling them as a pair. We're selling them individually. We're selling these in a pack of three. Uh, buy two, get one free. And we're selling this one right now in a buy one, get one half off uh, as well. And you can check out our website, KMT or KnifeMakerTraining.com and check them out for yourself. We would appreciate you buying. Exactly. There's one more tip I'll share with you before we go. And I didn't do this in the beginning, but one of the things when you're sanding on your hand sanding on your blades... Always give yourself a back support, some kind of support, whether it's a chunk of wood with masking tape on it. I personally have a piece of blade steel with leather glued to it. Put that in your vise to lend support. Otherwise, you're going to wind up cutting tips off, cutting your hands, doing bad things. So just a little safety tip and a little tip to make your life easier when hand sanding. Pro tip from Ed Caffrey. <laughs> so, yeah, one of our pro tips. So anyway, <laughs> that's it for our sanding sticks for today. Uh, again, like Tim said... Look us up at KnifeMakerTraining.com. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook. We have our own group. Uh, I have my own pages. Tim's got his. We're just all <laughs> over the place. We really are. So, and again, look us up. Yep. We appreciate your support, guys. You guys rock. We appreciate it.